Good morning everyone. So I'm trying to film more and give you guys more content. Today's vlog might be a little bit short because I have my internship, um, but later I am going to the gym. It's leg day, which is the best day, and I will be squatting and trying to hit a new PR, and I have goals, and I'm gonna share all that stuff with you guys. I did prep a meal today for lunch so that, you know, stay on track. So I have some rice, chicken, broccoli, green beans, and I topped it with sriracha. And then for a snack, I have a Quest bar. So that is my prepped meal and snack. I have to go, so I will see you all later at the gym. All right, guys, so here is what's going on. So I right now am in school, I have an internship, and I have my channel. And I really want to upload every single day, but that is not possible. I'm going for like two to three videos per week, but I'm not going to make any promises. Uh, I'm just going to try my best to vlog and film other videos, fashion videos, as much as I can when I have free time. Uh, so that's what's going on. And the rest of this video is going to be a voiceover because that's just how today went. So I hope you guys don't mind me talking this entire video nonstop. So I got a little creative with dinner. I was craving like stuffed peppers but breakfast. So I combined the both and I cooked two pieces of turkey bacon and then I also cooked a green bell pepper in the oven. I cut it in half, sprayed it with coconut oil and then I threw it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 350. Just enough to get it like warm but still crunchy. And then I started cooking up the eggs which was five egg whites I threw in 50 grams of spinach, turkey bacon, and then I stuffed the green bell peppers with the egg mixture, and it was like so good. Um, but I also topped it, of course, with some vegan mozzarella cheese that's from Trader Joe's and some uh, salsa. I, it's called something else, but I cannot remember what it is. And so it was like a breakfast stuffed green bell pepper. It was really good, okay? It was delicious. It, you know, took care of my cravings. I was just like all over the place with what I was wanting for dinner. So definitely give this recipe a try. I will link the macros down below because it was, it was really good. So that was my dinner and then I went to the gym tonight and today was leg day and I really... <laughs> I've been wanting to work on my squats. You guys know this. I'm feeling a lot more confident with it. So I first just squatted the bar. Um, I think I did like a warm up of two sets of 10 reps just to like, you know, warm up the muscles and whatnot. And then I threw on, it was 95 pounds, which was what I was squatting the entire summer. Um, I really wanted to hit a new PR though. And that's been a goal of mine. I'm now feeling a lot more comfortable with the squat rack and so last week I actually hit a new PR of 135 and I did not film it and I wanted to share it with you guys. It was freaking awesome and it's I don't have it. I don't have footage. Um, I now am bringing my camera every time I go to the gym and I'm going to record everything that I can for you guys. Um, because again, I really wanted to share that and just have it for myself. So this week I was curious and I wanted to hit a new PR. So I added another 10 and I hit a new PR of 145 and I was so happy. Again, freaking awesome. Like I never knew I could do this. And I'm so happy that I actually have it recorded and I'm able to share it with you guys this time. It was just something that I needed to do today. It was just one of those Mondays and this workout made me feel a whole lot better. And that's why I like working out at night because I know I'm going to have a good workout. I'm going to feel amazing before I go to bed. And I'm just like ending the night on a good note. Unless, you know, I have a bad workout and then it's like crap. <laughs> but anyway, um, so for the rest of my workout, I did incline leg press. I couldn't walk after that, but I kept going because I really wanted to work the glutes. So I did Bulgarian split squats. I did three sets, 12 reps each leg. And I was using 10 pound dumbbells. And when I'm doing these, I really like to pause a little bit to really just, you know, feel the burn, totally just kill my legs so I can't walk the next day. But honestly, like the feeling after leg day is awesome because then you know you like did stuff working the glutes. Operation booty. Speaking of operation booty, I did 
hip thrust and a lot of girls talk about it, like don't make eye contact with anybody like just do it and then you know move on to the next <laughs> exercise which is so true it's a little awkward doing this but it's awesome to hit the glutes and you know do all that fun stuff i started it with like 60 pounds and I was being a little ambitious, um, so I did like 10 reps of that. And then I replaced it with a 50 pound barbell and I felt a whole lot better. I did four sets of 15 and by the end of this I really could not walk. I even did a cool down on the Stairmaster and that just ended me. The walk home was terrible. It's like pain that never felt so good. You guys know what I'm saying? So that concludes this vlog. I hope you guys liked it and if you did, give it a thumbs up because you know it makes me very happy to see that you guys like what I'm doing. Uh, comment down below, say hi, I always read the comments. Subscribe for more videos, you guys know the drill. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye loves.